there was something that was picked up because you wrote about an accident that you had during sex with Mark. Yes. And it and the articles made it seem like Mark had made love to you so passionately and violently that you passed out. Now, I happen to see you and Mark the other day, and yes. Mark was saying that the looks he's been getting on the Upper East Side oh from women oh. are like... Hey, oh. yeah, I mean, everyone wants, uh, everyone, Mark, everybody wants to know. And, and so, and they did at the hospital as well. Right. It was like, everybody wanted to get a load of the guy right. who put it on his wife to the point of <laughs> unconsciousness. <laughs> and I, I break down our relationship like this. The emojis we, re when the article broke, yeah. the emojis we received by our friend groups in our cell phones. My friends were sending me broken hearts and prayer hands and OMGs and WTFs and all of that. And his friends were sending him Mexican flags <laughs> and eggplants <laughs> and fists and all kinds of like crazy. It's just, that's the breakdown. Um, what happened was I had just had a baby, not just, but I had had a baby. It's something I believe most women, or at least all of the women I know go through, having sex again after you have a baby is mm. alarming at best, nerve wracking, and sometimes can cause great bouts of surprise at the worst. And what I didn't know was that I had an ovarian cyst. Wow. I had no idea. Wow. And it burst during that... Wow. sexual encounter, oh, which very... caused me to pass out and hit my head did. and caused poor Mark to panic, dress me poorly, and right. call the paramedics. Um, you, there's also, I think, a chapter called Don't Let Your Husband Dress You for that's, Your Funeral. That, oh, is it. that it? Yeah, that's um, it, because I now have funeral and emergency clothes on hangers labeled <laughs> in my closet <laughs> because his fashion choice for me... Is poor. Now, but let me no, also... Not poor. It's, baffling well, and remarkably dumb.